hi guys and thank you so much for watching my videos if you are new to my channel welcome please consider hitting that like subscribe and notification bell so you never miss an episode so oh this is gloss i kind of don't like my lipstick today that's why i'm like hmm looks really dark i was hoping for something a little bit more bright to match my shirt but that's okay it's neither here nor there i have an extra large dollar tree haul for you guys my hands are super dry so let me put some lotion on lots and lots of new stuff have floated into the dollar tree and i do have a pretty awesome haul for you guys and if you guys want to know who won last week's subscriber prize we'll announce that somewhere in this video and i have something extra special planned for you guys i have my first subscriber halloween themed gift for you guys so that's going to be coming up in this video as well so keep watching so you can see all of the amazing gifts i have for you guys as well as how you can enter so without further ado we're gonna go ahead oh i gotta put this in my car it smells so good and jump right in I do have a little bit of a zoo today. Well, I always have a zoo every day. I have a lot of pets. You guys don't know, you're new to my channel. I do have a lot of pets. I have two doggies. That's Harley. Harley. I got Lady. Lady is the one with the blue shark costume and Harley is wearing her 99 cent only store little Halloween dress. So, and they think they have goodies in here. So, they're also very nosy. I don't even know. And then I got a blue and gold macaw. So if you hear noises in the background, it's not a child. I'm not abusing any children. Um, it's our blue and gold macaw and she does speak. She's about this big. She's bigger than my dogs. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and start jumping right in. Um, I have a bunch of stuff to show you guys. Some repeat purchases as well as some new items floated into the Dollar Tree. Definitely check out my Dollar Tree shop with me, guys. I always post one on Wednesday. I try my best to get a Sunday bonus shop with me. If there's a lot of new items, I'll definitely post one on Sunday. So if you have not hit that notification and subscribe button, I highly recommend you do. I post a lot of content here on the channel. Okay, first thing I got were, I love these things. My husband can't eat them. And I don't even know why I bought them. I should not, but they're so good. And you only you only get three. So they're the little um, mini cherry pies. I like the apple ones too, but cherry is my favorite. So I grabbed two packages of those for me. These will last me a minute. And then that's why they're in here. My dogs love these. Like they, well, Harley doesn't really like these, but Lady loves them. So therefore Harley has to have one and hide it. So she's like a typical Yorkie. I have a Yorkie and then I have a mixed breed dog. And my Yorkie, Harley, she likes to hide these from Lady. And then Lady goes around the whole entire house looking for them. And then Harley gets mad because Lady finds them. And Lady loves these. She really does. Harley, eh, she can, it's either or with her. But I did grab two more packages of it because it does last a minute and they don't, you know, it lasts a minute. See, I grabbed three and I already had given them um, one each. So hopefully they'll get out of my hair. Where's Harley? Here, Lady. Go take it. Where's Harley? Oh, there she is. She knows. She knows. If I don't give her one, she'll start barking. I apologize for that, but I do have pets, and I'm trying to keep them quiet. They're going to bark in a minute. My mother-in-law went to go get her hair done, so she'll be back in a minute, and then they'll start barking because she'll be out the door. So if you hear that, I might pause it because it'll get crazy in this house because once they start barking, this one will start squawking. Okay, so grab those. They love these. These are the Butcher Bar Triple Flavor Ribs Dog Treat. Love these. So for a buck, I grabbed two of those. I also grabbed this adorable death by candy um halloween this is the flower sack towel i am doing like a few halloween themed subscriber gifts i don't decorate and i think the reason why i love doing these type of gifts like a themed subscriber gift is because i don't decorate so i did grab that for another halloween themed i'm going with now i love this stuff i ended up buying how many of these things did i buy one i bought two these are the um, Be Pure Compared to Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser for dry to normal sensitive skins. It helps hydrates and soothes skin as it cleans. I put one of these in the shower because sometimes I'll go in the shower and I won't wash my face before I get in the shower. I wash my face in the shower as I'm showering. And I loved the way it felt. I love that it took off all of my makeup. I love that it did not irritate my skin. And it is almost an exact an exact, I'm not going to say an exact, exact dupe. It's almost like 98% exact dupe. 
course I drop it, to the Cetaphil cleanser, guys. So if you've not tried this for $1.25 compared to the Cetaphil brand, Cetaphil brand will run you $10.99. The bar of soap alone is like $8.99, so $1.25. Great deal on that. So I grabbed two to have in my stock. I already have one out, but I'll definitely um, be using that. I love it. I think it works amazingly well. It does not leave my skin dry. It does not irritate my skin. It feels great. So I grabbed that as well. And then I also wanted to try the EOS. I might, I might be like no go. Um, this is the shave cream. It's compared to EOS. It's the Bath and Beauty Advanced Smooth Glide Formula, moisturizes and nourishes for a flawless shave cream. This one is in lavender. They've had it a while. I've never tried it. It's with uh, aloe vera. Um, sativa oat, vitamin E, and skin conditioning. I got it because it's paraben free and it's very difficult to find a paraben free, sulfate free um, shaving cream. It does smell really, really good. That's what scares me. I'm going to try it on a small portion of my legs and see if it does, if it causes any irritation. If it does, then I'll give it to Amanda so she can use it. But I definitely wanted to give it a try. I think something bit me. I keep scratching my hand. I don't like it. Or maybe I'm allergic to that. That's great. I'll give that to Amanda too. That's probably what it is. That makes me sad. Okay. Um, next thing I wanted to try was, and this is new, the tear-free spray on detangler. Um, it's by um, Personal Care. It's compared to Johnson & Johnson Normal T No More Tangles. I've used Johnson & Johnson. I have curly hair and the struggle is real because you can't get like a regular brush and brush your hair if you have curly hair like I do. It'll pull out your hair. Don't do that. Get one of those big combs. They sell them at the Dollar Tree and work your way from the bottom up. I know it sounds weird. Trust me. Um, it's just the best way. And if you have a detangler, you're going to want to use it. Now, I know some people with curly hair usually have oily hair. So this did not, the no, the Johnson Johnson doesn't make my hair oily. So I'm going to give this a try. I'll let you guys know how I like it. If I like it, I'll definitely be repurchasing it because detangling your hair, even when you wash and deep conditioning it, I mean, if you got hair like I do, it can be the struggle is real. And I'm allergic to that. I can already tell you guys that I should pause this and wash my hands, but I don't want to get up. Ah, okay. I saw these at DT on my Sunday's shop with me. Check that video out, guys. My bonus Dollar Tree shop with me. They had Christmas out. They had like a ton of ornaments. They had some tabletop decor. They had a bunch of crafter stuff. I mean, and crafter square. I'm telling you, I don't know what that 25 cents did, but it did a lot. Um, check that video out. I'll link that at the end of the video. So this is, oh, it smells so, it smells like Christmas. I love this and it has the beads and I like the beads. I just got to be careful with this. Um, this is called, and it's not a Dollar Tree brand. This is the Apple Cinnamon Scent Cinnamon Nutmeg and Cloves Crystal Beads. And it is actually by Rejoice International Corporation in Northville, Michigan. So it's not a Dollar Tree brand. It's not a Greenbrier brand. It's definitely some type of name brand. I should have Googled it before I came on here. And it smells really, really good. So I got these for, I got one for in here and one for the living room. I love that Christmassy, like cinnamony, like we don't usually put a tree up, but I like those cones that smell like the fresh cut trees because I tried the fresh cut trees. And when you have your daughter, when you have your daughter, well, my dogs are like my daughters. When you have your dog drink the um, water that you put the medicine in to keep the, the pine, the Christmas tree from, you know, going bad or, you know, wilting or what is that thing called? When it turns brown, you know what I mean. When you, I need to wash my hands. Okay, so when you put the water in, you have to put that stuff in. My dogs drank the water. And that bill, bill, never again, never again. So we've got a, a fake one after that. I learned my lesson. And then this one, so it comes in a beads and then it also comes in a like gel. So this is the gel by the apple cinnamon too. And they, you can smell them out of the package. They smell so good. So I'm definitely going to give them a whirl, let you guys know what the throw is. I mean, I'm assuming it's pretty good since I could smell it, like, right away. Yeah. I know I'm going to read in the comments. You should have stopped and washed your hands. I know. And, I, you know, when you, sometimes when you're at Dollar Tree, I was there in the morning. No, I was there late evening. And um, sour neon worms. These are, like, one of my favorites. I love those, and I love the orange slices. But these are... One of my favorites too. So I grabbed one of these. These are by Coastal Bay Confections. Pretty good. Grab those. I probably take me forever to eat those. And then um, 
one of my really good friends, she's like a sister to me. Um, her, she has grandkids too. And her kids, her grandkids are into like, they exchanged care bears and I saw that they had the care bear ornaments. So I got her this one so she could put this on her tree. Her grandkids moved recently from California, like to a different state. It's not even close. So I know she's going to be missing them a lot this Christmas. It's going to be a hard Christmas for her. Uh, so I got her that so she can see it and think of them. Okay, I got me a secret deodorant for the car because my other one I ran out because a lot of times I'm in a hurry and then I'm like, oh, forgot to put deodorant on. So it's always good to have a spare in the car. So that's what I keep that for. And then I love the way this stuff smells, black ice. It's one of my go-tos, the um, little trees for my car. I got this, don't come for me in the comments. Sometimes my I use the hot water, I use the bleach. Sometimes it just needs something, a little push. My husband has long hair, I have long hair. I wash my dogs in the showers and stuff. And um, Harley doesn't shed, but Lady does. And yeah, we get we get issues sometimes. And this seems to work. Don't come for me. I know, I know it's not the greatest. And I know we do have somebody come and do the drains, I think like every six months, but still, still, it's expensive. Plumbers are expensive. My husband can do it, but it's too much on his knees. So I have to wait till he gets his knees done. Then I got a chore list for that guy. Okay, so I wanted him to try this. This is the USB laptop light. I don't think it's gonna work for my laptop because I have a, I have a Mac and I'm assuming this is for a regular PC. It is, but you know, um, one of my good friends, Christina, she sent me a little adapter, so I may be able to use this. Thank you, Christina. I'm going to try it out now. He might not get this. So I did grab one. I thought this would be cool, especially when we're working at night. We don't want all the lights on or it's hot. Ugh. So grab that. And then I grabbed a couple of face masks only because they looked really cool. I love Miss Spa, and I know Miss Spa is sold at CBS, so if you see it, pick it up. Um, this is the Retinol Age Defined Sheet Mask, and then I grabbed the Sika Essence Mask. This is a relaxing skin mask. I cannot put these on my skin. These will either be for you guys or for um, raffle gifts that I that I make on occasions. Well, not occasions. I make them all the time. I thought I can use them in that. And then I got two cans of dog food for the pups because my dogs don't just eat dog food, so I don't want you guys to think that. I add it to their what is it called? Dr. Marty. So I use the Dr. Marty's dehydrated dog food and it just feels so boring and so bland. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of leaning going towards the nature's choice. You know, the ones that have the refrigerated one. I don't know. I just feel like you spend so much money on your pet and it's like, do I really want to give them a dog food out of a bag? I don't know guys. I'm torn. So I do add this as like a little topper. So I got the country chicken stew. They love this one and they love the beef with, um, in gravy. Lady, I'm not giving you another cookie. It's almost dinner time. We're not going there. I'm not going there. So you can go, go to bed, go play with your sister, go find her cookie. Okay, I did grab the candle lights for candles or the barbecue, whatever that may be. I don't really light, like physically get a lighter and light candles. I usually just get them for you guys and for gifts. I've gotten in trouble for leaving candles on and almost burning down the house. <laughs> I've said that before a long time ago, but yeah, that's why I don't light candles anymore because I have a tendency to forget about them because I have too many things going on in this brain. And then, yeah, that was scary. That, that was not a good thing. Okay. I got some of this. I love my carpet or I do love my carpet. Love my carpet foaming carpet cleaner. I have pets. You guys know that. And they're dogs. They're not humans. Unfortunately, I wish, I wish they were kind of like cats and went in a litter box, but unfortunately they don't. And sometimes they have accents because they're dogs. So grabbed this or sometimes their feet They'll go outside in the morning, go potty, and they're running around in the backyard and their feet are wet and then they get it all over the carpet. So this stuff does work. It comes in super handy and it has a nice scent to it. Not anything dramatically strong. I'll wait till it dries, of course, keep the dog away from it. Don't want my dogs in it. I don't want them to irritate, especially Harley. She has super sensitive fur, uh, skin and fur. Okay, snack pack. You know, my husband's still on that soft food diet. We got like two more months of this to go. Grabbed him this and this. I know he's probably sick of these. I mean, I, I can, couldn't imagine. <sighs> I'm running out of ideas, guys. I found a good um, potato soup crock pot recipe, so I'm gonna try that out for him. I gotta get the stuff for it, but I'm gonna try that out for him. I found that on TikTok, so hopefully he'll like that. I don't know. 
but we'll see. And then I grabbed a canola spray. I like having this. I gotta, I gotta go through the RV and take out all the old stuff. I don't, we don't go in the RV enough, like go on enough trips. That's what I tell my husband. So not to take out a bunch of stuff, throw it away and then replace like canned goods and stuff like that. So this one might go in the RV. This one for sure will go in the RV because I know I don't have any in there. This is the vegetable oil. I recently redid the sheets and deep cleaned the carpet and stuff. Not that we're going anywhere. It's just, it just drives me nuts when it's not clean. So did that. And then I went through some of the canned goods and I'm like, Ooh, I got to replace a bunch of them. So I know I feel bad that I did that, but it, it's COVID when it hit, we weren't able to go out. And now that we are able to, we've been a couple of times, but just not as so much as I want to. And then, um, my mother-in-law ended up buying creamer because my husband didn't have any. And this is the hazelnut. I never tried this or he's never tried it. So I got one just until I can get to the grocery store and get regular creamer. So grab that. That'll be emergency for emergency uses. I love this lemon fresh comet. So I grabbed one of those. I need that for like, you know, the bathrooms. I use it to clean the tubs and stuff and like the floors. And then I wanted to try this. This is the deodorizing made easy carpet deodorizer, 100% sustainable ingredients. And it says pet friendly. That's the reason I got that and miss putting the little stuff on the floor. But then I found out my dog, not this one that's looking at me like, kind of like a little bit of an obsession she's just like my little stalker um harley has sensitive uh skin and then she has a sensitive nose and the carpet deodorizing was not good for her so i'm gonna try this one it says pet friendly um sent a picture to my vet he said it should be fine so we'll see i'm gonna small, try a small section i don't have a lot of carpet in the house i have the like hallway in the living room that's basically it everything else is like wooden so i don't really have to worry about it too much but i you know i'm very you guys know I love my pets. So, okay. Even this one who's stalking me too. If you guys can see the camera, she's literally right here looking at me film. Okay. I got this Jumbo Hello Kitty ac um, activity workbook for my goddaughter. She is obsessed with Hello Kitty, which makes me so happy because when I was her age, I was obsessed with Hello Kitty too. And it makes me super duper happy that she is obsessed as well. So I grabbed this and this one, guys, I think I'm going to hold, I, I have so many subscriber gifts planned. Um, if it goes with the color scheme for Wednesdays, I will add it. If not, it'll probably go in a different one, but I thought this was so cool. This is the guided journal, simple and free by Jen Hatmaker. Um, she's a New York times bestseller and I thought it was really, really cool. What are today's seven giveaways? And then write out a prayer of thanks today. Like these are so cool. And yeah, like your day 15, day 16, like everything has, it's so nicely done. It's not a Dollar Tree brand at all. The retail price on this was $16. Can you believe that? $16. So I grabbed that. Now, before you, we continue, I definitely want to go ahead and take a small break. Announce the winner of that amazing Harley themed. Harley, are you in here? Nope. Harley's not in here. That Harley themed subscriber gift I had for you guys. It was so cute. I hope you guys really liked that one. It was one of my favorites. All of my giveaways are my favorites because you guys know I love doing them so much. So let's announce the winner of that. And then we will continue on with this amazing haul. So you guys know I love themes. <laughs> it's my thing. I don't know what it is. I love theming things out. I think it's because I don't have the time to actually decorate myself. So I'm like, let me theme it out for you guys. So I feel like I'm decorating in some small way. But before we announce the winner of last week's adorable subscriber gift, I wanted to give you a sneak peek into this week's. It's pretty awesome. Hope you guys like it as much as I do. I had so much fun putting this together. We're going to announce the winner and then I'm going to let you guys know how you can enter later on in this video. Let's announce that one. And the congratulation goes to Amy Martin. You are the winner of the hat's adorable subscriber gift. Please email me so I can get your package out to you. Guys, if you did not win, do not worry. You saw that sneak peek. We have an amazing subscriber prize up for grabs. And if you have not checked out my Dollar Tree shop with me for the week, you still have a little bit of time. Check that video out. I'll link that at the end of this video and I'll pin it in the comments. There's an amazing subscriber prize in that video as well. It is high value and it's super duper cute. So check that video out. Like I said, it'll be linked at the end of the video. Please congratulate Amy. Let's go ahead and continue. So please congratulate uh, the winner. They won an awesome prize. Like I think it's super cute. Huh, huh Daisy? They won a good prize, huh? Huh, lady? They won a good prize, huh? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so 
Um, please email me so I can get your package out to you. If you did not win and you love Halloween, take a look. You saw that sneak peek. That one's pretty awesome. I have another one coming up on Wednesday. So guys, we are getting into that Halloween mode and I'm super excited for you guys. I do do them early because I figure Halloween is such, it's such a short month. Like it's just the whole month of October. Like Christmas, you can literally start like right after Thanksgiving. Then you have I guess it is full 25 days, full 30 days, but you can start earlier if you want to and forego the Thanksgiving decorations or whatever that may be. I feel like you have more time going into like fall and Christmas than you do Halloween. I feel like Halloween, you only got a certain like little window of time to decorate. That's my personal opinion, but yeah, so that's why I do it early. So you guys can enjoy it more. Okay, I grabbed these two because I knew my girl Dorothy would want these. <laughs> I knew she would. I totally knew she would. So um, I'm not going to open them, but they are super cute. They're in my Dollar Tree shop with me for Wednesday. Um, I did a full, like, it's two pieces. It, uh, unfortunately, of course, I picked the ones with the labels right in front of it. But take us to unexpected places. Love brings us home. I don't know what this says right here because I don't remember. But I love the back of it little decor pieces so i thought she would like this i'm gonna add this to your box and then this one says bless our home with love and laughter i can lead that one it's super cute and then look at the back so it's two pieces love that so i grabbed her those two because i knew i just knew you know you just know i knew okay i grabbed a hat i grabbed two hats for myself i yes i wear baseball caps a lot because sometimes i don't want to do my hair yeah can you believe it daisy's like what so i got a bad hair day hat and these are actually pretty cool they're not a dollar tree brand they're by infinity hair headwear i love hats that have this the velcro because I, my ponytail is usually so thick it doesn't really work with me you know what i mean with the other ones that are like uh what's that thing called the little st stickums so this one, I will definitely have to shape a little bit because I like them like kind of like this. But I love them because usually I will braid my hair and just wear a hat. Or if I did not dye my hair and it's due to be dyed, this is definitely a hat I would wear. I wear them to the pool and things like that as well. So I grabbed this one, a buck twenty-five. I love it, and I love that it's Velcro. That's that's a selling point for me. I have some with the snapbacks. This, is, this one I'm kind of, mm, I don't really like too much because, and I got it because I love the colors, but this one has a, it's not a snapback, but it has a little like thing. And I got, I don't really have a big head. At least I don't think so. Inside you get the infinity little thing. And then it has an infinity tag on it. And I should have Googled these as well to see how much these were. Maybe I do have a big head and I just don't know it. Okay. Maybe I do. <laughs> I got a big giant head. Okay. Ah, there we go. Well, I should have put the ponytail in first, but we'll figure that out later. I feel like a conductor. Like I need to like to be on a train or something. These are this is so cute. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna be for Halloween. There's a couple a couple Halloween parties we got invited to, including my daughter's, and I'm like girl you do not my daughter is amanda is 27 years old and i'm like and you know it's kids her age and i'm like girl you do not want me and your dad there as oldies there hanging out with you she's like my friends love you you gotta come and we got invited last year and she was doing like zombie prom and i was just like a girl no I'm, I'm not doing it we go we went before the party actually started and then she's like what do you mean you guys are leaving I'm like yeah we're leaving have fun she had a blast <laughs> Um, this year we made, we promised we'd go. So I don't know what I'm going to be. She says it's just regular Halloween. Okay. Sorry. I'm, I'm rambling, rambling. Um, I think these came out before and they're back again, the 3d flare. And I think my favorite was 71. I like lashes that kind of look natural. So what I mean by that is our natural light lash line starts small and then it works its way out. If you've ever looked at your eyelashes closely, this is usually like the smaller eyelashes and then it works its way out. Not like anybody's going to think these are my natural eyelashes, but <laughs> that that's my theory. It's just easy. And, and number two, it's so much easier to figure out which one's left and right to put on. So I love that. So I got the uh, 71. These will be like my going out because they're really long. But I got big eyes. So, you know, if you got smaller eyes, you might want smaller lashes. If you got bigger eyes, you're going to need bigger lashes because your eyes are bigger and it's just going to make them pop. I'm wearing lashes now. Um, I usually wear them when I film. And if I didn't have lashes on, it would just I would just look 
I'm not awake. I feel like I look more awake when I have lashes on. I don't know. It's just my preference. I like it. I like it for pictures and stuff. So I grabbed two of those. Those are my faves. 71. I think I've gotten them before. Okay. They had, I want to try these. So, oh, there's two different kinds, guys. I didn't even know this. So I'm going to try them both. I only grabbed two because I have a ton of, <laughs> I have a ton of eyeliners, but I, I, you know, I can't resist something that's a buck 25 and it's name brand co drugstore cosmetics. So they had the Rimmel London scandalous, um, micro eyeliner and the bold liquid eyeliner for a buck 25. So I left the rest. They had almost a row of them. For buck 25 i grabbed these two i know they're probably gone by now but i wanted to try it and then um i have some of these already so only grabbed two and just to have for stock i'm using actually one now in the shower so this is the alvive rapid reviver deep conditioner um dry hair daily use i have a ton of these already in my stock so only grabbed two i don't need them i just wanted them for my stock for buck 25 you can't really beat that price so i'm like oh, i'm gonna grab two i left the rest didn't need them Oh, shoot. Of course, I'm dropping everything. And then my godson is, he's into Legos, Minecraft, and Roblox. So I found these at the Dollar Tree, and I'm like, oh my gosh, these are perfect for a stocking. What I want to do for my god kids, since I won't, I don't, okay, so the plan for Christmas is either go out to see the grandkids, or hopefully they'll come to see us, but I'm, I'm leaning towards going to see them. Because it'd be nice to do a road trip and go get some of those stores out there and just to spend some time with them out there. And I'll cook out there. I mean, they're vegetarians. So my husband's like, are you going to cook? If, you're, if we're, We can go, but you got to cook. So I'll probably cook because he's not a vegetarian and he should be able to eat by then. So I'm thinking for the God kids, since I'll probably be gone, I'm going to make them a stocking and then, of course, a gift as well. So this is starting it out. So I got the Minecraft. That's um, his favorite. Minecraft, Roblox, and Legos. He's, like, hugely into Legos. So got him these three, which is Steve, which is so funny. His grandpa's name is Steve. Ha! <laughs> well, that was funny. And then I got the little piggy. And then I got the creeper. I don't know any of these things, but I know these things are expensive at Walmart and Target and all that stuff. So I grabbed them. That Dollar Tree, a buck twenty-five, awesome deal. And then the last thing I grabbed were some mothballs. Need them. We've already started um, going to some events. We went to a gala. We went to a uh, charity event. We have a couple of more coming up next month, and then some in December. We got Christmas parties, all that. We got to make sure our stuff doesn't get mothballs. I don't wear half the clothes. I used to wear all my work clothes and stuff. So I need this one for my husband's closet for all his suits and ties and all that good stuff. And then one for my closet. And guys, that is everything that I got at the Dollar Tree. Quite a large haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But I know you guys are looking forward to that subscriber gift. I know I am. I love it. I think it's adorable. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with that right now. Thanks for watching. Let's get started so you guys can start entering to win. Lady, lady. I am a laughing because Daisy keeps telling me to shut up. I, I'm, it's my fault. Uh, they mimic everything a person says, and I apparently I tell my bird, my well, she's not really my bird, she's my husband's bird, Blue and Go McCall, to shut up and get out a lot because she is so loud sometimes. And if you guys have a Blue and Go McCall, you know my pain. You understand. I am not being cruel to the animal. She is just so loud. I'm like, dude, please shut up. Like, she's going off. I got to record her one day when she's on a good one and I will, I will definitely do a short on that when she is on a good one and you will feel my pain. Anywho, if you hear that in the background, that is Miss Daisy. I'm not telling you guys to shut up or be quiet. That is her hilarious. But if you guys saw that sneak peek, you know, this subscriber prize is up for grabs and you guys know I had so much fun putting this one together. I love themes. I just do. So we're going to go over these items and then I'll let you guys know how you can enter. So a lot of these items came from the Dollar Tree. I don't think I have anything here from the 99. I have some items, of course, that are like some of my favorites that I had to add to this subscriber gift, but I don't think anything's from the 99 this time. But the next one, definitely keep your eyes peeled for my Dollar Tree shop th with me for the week. We're going to have another Halloween themed subscriber gift. And I have another one coming up and that one, I don't know if this next one, okay, let me, 
before we start into this, before we get into this, um, I want to let you guys know I'm doing a collab subscriber gift for you guys with uh, Money Saving Megan. So I don't know if the next one in my Dollar Tree shop with me will be it or it will be the following week. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated in that video. And that comes out on Wednesday. So hit that notification bell so you're notified when those videos pop up. So since I wasted so much time, we're going to go over this as quickly as I possibly can. Okay, so I have this crystal magic. Like it looks like a book, but it's a decor piece. And this is from the Dollar Tree, the Magic Crystal Shards decor piece from the Dollar Tree. This beautiful Profusion um, cosmetic set. It's the Prismatic Glam makeup set. Isn't that pretty? Love this. And I thought it went so perfectly. So this one, um, it comes with a lip gloss and eye, a complete eyeshadow, lip gloss, and a lip liner. Beautiful. Got it at CVS on clearance. Okay, we have the hard cabin, hard cavity, hard candy candy cavities okay um in lavender this is the uh corrects dullness and neutralizes sallowness medium to dark skin tone so definitely play around with it if you guys are not my skin tone you're lighter play around with it you might fall in love with it i had a few subscribers who won uh some of my subscriber prizes i added that to their gifts and they absolutely loved it so play around with it okay the makeover Essent uh, essentials three pow um uh, three pack um little puffs for you guys i love using these the puff packs great to put on liquid makeup and then of course i included the entire kitchen set for the work your magic little um halloween themed kitchen towel the pot holders and the oven mitt for you guys love that love the way it looked super cute and then i have here the city um it's it's by city it's a little key ring holder i thought it was super cute and look at it has little crystals on it isn't that pretty okay so that's included and then if you guys know i love checking out the books at dollar tree they always have the best books so this twisted myths is included it's the 20 classic stories with a dark and dangerous heart i never got a chance to read it and i'm like this is for you guys and i don't want to mess it up and leave it out and have the dogs chew on it so i never really took it out of my stockpile room so i hope you guys enjoy that it looks like they have some really cool stories and gra um, graphics in it and then i have some of my favorites i have the um a raspberry lip balm it's one of my favorites i actually picked that up at the dollar tree but it is cvs brand the okay rejuvenating night cream my favorite lipsticks which are the dreamer lipstick it's like a matte lipstick and then this is the dreaming blush i thought you guys would like that something to play around with this beautiful decor piece with the skulls and the um it's not a scarecrow a crow <laughs> and it does light up so that was pretty cool i thought you guys would like that the pick your potion a little um tabletop decor and then this relax set so with this set you do get the lotion the bath salts the bath gel as well as a bath bomb guys and that is everything in this week's subscriber gift absolutely love it hope you guys love it too let's go ahead and go over the rules on how you can enter for this amazing Halloween themed subscriber gift. So if you would like to enter to win for this amazing subscriber gift, really easy, one, you must be subscribed to my channel. Definitely double check a lot of times, and I say this all the time, if you don't comment a lot on YouTube and YouTube is kind of finicky, they will automatically unsubscribe you. I hate when they do that too, because then you're like, oh, I haven't, so-and-so hasn't posted a new video yet. And then I have to go actually look for it. And then be like, why am I not subscribed? They automatically unsubscribe me a lot, because a lot of times I don't have a lot of time to comment on people's videos. So double check, you are subscribed to the channel. Two, you need to like this video. Three, this contest is open to anybody with a Dollar Tree near them. Just keep in mind, Dollar Tree does need to be in your state and region. You do need to be over the age of 18 to enter to win and over the age of 18 to claim your prize. If you could please share this video. Now you don't have to like blast it on any Facebook groups or anything like that. You can simply copy the link text or email it to a friend that would love to see all the awesome items that i hauled today as well as enter for this amazing prize and my final rule for the subscriber gift guys please post a comment below and put hashtag dollar tree haul 2023 and let me know what 
you if you if you decorated for Halloween this year, do you have a specific theme that you are going with? Did you do the old uh pumpkin traditional Halloween? Did you go with the ghost? Did you go with like the crystal magic? Did you go with the uh, Ouija board? I mean, what was your thought process or what did you decide to theme with if you are decorating for Halloween? If you're not decorating for Halloween, but you still want to enter to win because this is a pretty awesome prize, let me know if you had the time what your decor, choice decor would be. Mine would be the cutesy like little um ghost. I also like the vintage uh, Halloween. So those are going to be my two next ones that are going to be coming up. So if this one's not really your favorite, I will have a vintage Halloween uh, themed subscriber gift coming up as well as those ghosts because I love like the cutesy ghosts not scary ghosts but cutesy Halloween I don't usually do like super scary stuff you guys know I am not a fan of getting scared it's just not my thing so I'm curious I love reading your guys's comments even though you guys probably think this girl does not read all the comments I read as many as I possibly can you guys know I post a ton of videos I do read as many as I possibly can I heart as many as I possibly can sometimes I'm in the car with my husband and I'll go through and and read a bunch of comments and I'll forget to heart because you know I forget to do a lot of things but I do read a ton of comments and I sometimes I go back to old videos and I'll read comments as well so don't think I don't read because I definitely do and I try my very best I am a one-man show so please be patient with me as far as like getting your packages out and replying to emails and things like that sometimes it takes me a minute to get focused and get everything done and I try my very best I'm only one person so that's it you're entered I know I'm just going on and on but that's basically the rules I hope you guys got that subscribe like share the video if you possibly can I would totally appreciate it you gotta be a U.S. resident as well well you have to have a dollar tree near you Canada is included you do have to have a dollar tree near you and uh let me know what your choice decor this year is for Halloween and that's it you are entered to win now I hope you guys are having a fabulous blessed day thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos and remember if you like these videos please remember to like subscribe hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode and I I'm gonna be talking to you guys real real soon you guys stay blessed I cannot thank you all enough for your love and support I mean I truly mean that from the bottom of my heart thank you so much for supporting me and returning you support and help so many people in need so thank you so much and uh, you guys stay blessed don't forget to check out that Dollar Tree shop with me so I have a little bit of time to enter to win on that amazing subscriber gift and I'll talk to you soon thank you so much for watching bye